I need an ambulance. I am injured. There is a man with a knife who injured me in the vicinity. He's shining a light through the door. I believe he's mentally disturbed. I killed her. Is that what he's saying you did? You just need to send a police and ambulance, yes. I'm bleeding. He's battering the door. Is that him at the moment? Yes, sir. Yes, I can hear is. that. And you're safe and so are your door locked? I am, yes. Just, just bear me a the moment. The door may not hold. He's banging it hard. Yes, people. Welcome to Crime Daily. A teenager who dragged a doctor out of his house and stabbed him nine times in a random unprovoked attack has been jailed for life. Chance Maximin, 19, went on a killing spree over a four-week period in October and November of 2019. Choosing his victims at random, he denied six offences at Bristol Crown Court but has now been given a life sentence with a minimum term of 12 years. A jury found him guilty of five counts of attempted murder, GBH, and three counts of possessing a bladed article. After hearing the blood of two of his victims were found on two separate items of clothing. In the first attack, Maximin knocked on the door of 52-year-old Adam Towler's home in Clifton, Bristol on October the 30th, 2019. Dr Towler initially thought the knock was a Halloween prank, but Maximin pulled him into the road and stabbed him nine times including a blow that missed his heart by two centimetres. Maximin told him, you killed the girl, a phrase that he has never explained and meant nothing to the victim or investigators. Maximin left the doctor for dead in the street and vacated the immediate vicinity but did not go far. The victim, a former trauma specialist, managed to crawl back inside his house but was bleeding so profusely he was initially unable to use his phone keypad or facial recognition to call 999. When he eventually managed to make the call, Maximin returned to the address and could be heard throwing his full body weight against the front door trying to force his way in. Dr Towler described the door frame as flexing under his weight. A month later, on the 20th of November, he walked up behind a 39-year-old man sat on a bench on White Ladies Road and stabbed him in the face with a cheese knife. The following day, officers were called to attend a property in Clifton after a 22-year-old woman reported being followed home by a man carrying a knife who tried to force his way in. He was disturbed by the victim's housemate. Responding to this call, officers sighted Maximin on White Ladies Road and pursued him through Westfield Park and several residential gardens before detaining him on a railway track near Clifton Down Station. He was found to be carrying two knives. A search of his home was carried out while he was in custody and a number of items of clothing were seized. Among the items were a pair of trainers an officer recognised were similar to those worn by the offender during the first attack following an internal circulation of CCTV footage. A forensic examination of the shoes found blood of the first victim while the blood of his second victim was discovered on the jacket he was wearing on his arrest. Images of the first victim's address were also recovered from his mobile phone which the jury were told connected to a nearby mast at the time of the attack. Senior Investigating Officer Chief Inspector Christina Windsor said the determination and skill of all officers and staff involved in this case from the arresting officers to those who searched Maximin's house and to the investigating team and forensic experts has greatly impressed me and they deserve credit in building a case which has resulted in these convictions. The very thought of being randomly attacked by a stranger with a knife in your own home while sat on a public bench is terrifying and I'd like to praise the immense bravery and courage of all the victims and witnesses I've shown. I'd also like to reassure the public that attacks of this nature are extremely rare in Avon and Somerset. When they do take place, we take them extremely seriously and put all resources required into catching those responsible. Another crazy story there people. I'll leave a clip of the doctor describing his ordeal at the end, but anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, check back for more. Peace. It was very frightening. It was very unexpected. Um, it went on for you know, 20, 30 minutes. Um, I vividly remember sitting in my house, bleeding with my breathing deteriorating. One of those things when you think, Am I looking at my own, my own death here? But I got lucky, um, and I survived. Mm -hmm. I know 
none of us really know much of his thoughts. But he's a young man. In a way, he got lucky because he's on a charge of attempted murder, not actual murder. He doesn't have to bear the responsibility of actually having murdered someone. But you know, he has a life ahead of him. None of us know how that will pan out, but hopefully it will go upwards from his current position. I would like to understand his thoughts, his motivation if he had one. Was he, was he unlucky? Was he deluded? Was he, none of us know what made him do what he did both to me and to the subsequent two people after me as well. One day you'd like to maybe sit down and have that chat? Yes. Thank you, Doctor, and all the best to you. Thank you.